And welcome back. It's 913. The pandemic's effects on students learning could last for years to come. Local nonprofit SAU says student scores in subjects like math fell by 13 points in comparison to last year. SA youth is now shifting gears to help students recover from what the Texas Education Agency is calling the COVID slide. Alicia Barrera spoke with two students who say they're thankful the help the organization has been giving them. My dad drives silo. Gianna Magaña is a first grader. To the doctor. She loves school and has big dreams. I wanted to be a police officer. Gianna is specifically good at math. Math is good because your, your brain gets smarter. But reading isn't her favorite. Things happen. She says the assessments on books make it even more challenging. If I read a book, I would get one question wrong by the answers. And then if I get the question wrong, like you get one star off the chart. That's where Blake Barlow from SA Youth steps in. I would tell him, you're a wonderful SA Youth teacher. Marlowe is the assistant director of SA Youth's after school program, Out of School Time. It serves 40 South San ISD students, including Gianna and her older sister, Allison. Students get worksheets that help them work on specific academic skills. Really about that. Um, that enrichment on an academic level, social and emotional level. You know, it's like a, a sea of hands for kids, you know, wanting us to come over and check to see how they did and just kind of celebrate whether us putting like a, a hundred on the top of their paper or a smiley face by a question that they got right. The program also has project-based activities that keep learning fun. Well, the first one we did was about baking and this was actually, believe it or not, Allison's idea. She was the one who brought it up and the kids voted for it and they decided to do that as their first project. Hidden in the mix were lessons of science and Allison's least favorite subject, math. The goal for the program is to give students a boost of confidence in life and in the classroom. It's helped me a lot. He's teaching me to do it an easier way than the harder way. And it's like good whenever he helps me because he's like learning me out with reading. This SA Youth program is currently exclusive to South San ISD and the organization does want to expand, but in order to do so, they'll need more federal funding, grants, or even just support from individuals or foundations. So if you're interested in helping out SA Youth and in turn helping out these kids, on KSAT.com we have the full article for this story and at the very bottom is that link to where you can find out more and donate. Reporting live, Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.